morning and welcome to Winnipeg. Winter Peg. Yep, it snowed last night. It's all white again. Now, I got to admit, it's it's not very deep snow. Maybe, maybe only about this much. You can sort of see it on the car there. And uh, there will be no biking today unless that melts because the ice patches that I had to contend with yesterday that I could see where they are. Oh my. This is not, this is not very good. Uh, I should have stayed on the street. Now you can't see them, and they're covered with loose snow. So I will not be going out biking today, unless, like I say, it warms up. Now the weatherman was saying there's a 30% chance of freezing drizzle this morning. So if we get freezing drizzle, it's going to be even worse, because it'll, it'll be, well, it'll be frozen. However, we won't talk about the weather anymore, if I can. Uh, <clears throat> I did get that uh, uh, piece of flooring, or decking, uh, that we were talking about yesterday, and I have painted it. So as near as I can tell, and I'll know once I actually get going, we should have all the parts made now, uh, or painted, and ready to assemble on this piece. And, uh, and that's, as near as I can tell, that's basically all, all there is here in, in step 24. Um, dropping pieces into place, and gluing pieces into place, which should go good. Then we can flip the page. Um, you know, it won't, be, it won't be long and we're going to have another module made. It's slowly moving forward. Uh, yeah, the only, the only thing that could really majorly set us back is if I was to accidentally drop something after it was completed and have a lot of repairing to do, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I haven't done that yet in any of the previous uh, builds. Oh, I would accidentally break off a, the top of a mast and have to fix that. Or I think I, I had quite a time with the, I think it was with the, uh, with the uh, the uh, flagstaff that goes on the on the bow of the Bismarck, I think I broke it twice. Uh, you know, things like that happen. But uh, <clears throat> anyhow, uh, let's uh, let's recompose here, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Now, I was just noticing here that the snow on the window on the car is starting to slide down. Now that means it's starting to warm up outside. So if it keeps keeps warming up, maybe I'll be able to get out on the e-bike later this afternoon. Maybe around four o'clock. We'll see what happens. That'd be nice. Anyway, I was going to start here in step 24 and put parts together. And uh, I was going to grab this piece and this piece and glue them on. And then I realized I had not completed this thing here, which was actually in step 23, where we had to glue the mattresses onto uh, the uh, the bunk beds. And uh, I think this time I'm going to try and use a little less glue. It seems to me that when I did this piece here, uh, I put quite a bit of uh, Tamiya, what I call Tamiya Thick, which is, uh, uh, where is it? Okay, this is the. Oh yeah, this is it. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, let's let's just quickly do that and uh, get get these uh, get this drying because we are going to need it when we move over here. Okay. Now this is the one that drips. We'll put a little bit less on. And that way we won't be a moron. Uh, did I get down this end just in case there's a bit of a warp in the mattress. I don't think it matters which way they go on. They're pretty much symmetrical. Okay, now try and get it lined up here. 
get myself a little bit more over top of it. Put a little bit of pressure down so it oozes out. Yeah, you can tell by the feel of it that it's going to be okay. Maybe it's not quite straight there. It looks a little better. Does it have to go a little bit more to the left, maybe? Don't want it to go too much to the left or it's not going to fit in the... You know, you can see here where there's these little tabs that have to go into slots. And if the mattress is too far this way, it's not going to want to work, is it? Okay, I think that's going to be all right. All right, now we can move on to this piece here. And uh, so let me check the drawing here. Yeah, this it goes on in this orientation here, like that, not like this, because it can go either way. At least I, I'm pretty sure that's the way it's supposed to go. Yeah, the the hinges are supposed to be in. So. Uh, towards the, the uh, I guess you call it, the, the back of the bulkhead. Anyway. You know, if, if these, these two paints did sort of meld together, it, it wouldn't really matter because the uh they're they're both it's both the same paint and there we go it's down oh it oozed out a little bit there didn't it you can see it's kind of doesn't seem to be i think it'll be okay yeah that's going to be all right Okay, let's let that one dry. So we got these two pieces more or less made now. Probably going to take about an hour because I'm, I am using the uh, the thick here, so it's not like we're using the extra thin quick setting or something. Okay, let's move on. Okay, we've got this done. This piece was made the other day, which is right here. And it looks like we need... I counted earlier eight pieces to be dropped down, and I think if I'm smart, I should, I'm going to be doing a bit of a dry run. Now, I haven't done this yet, so I just want to make sure that some of these pieces are, in fact, going to fit. Okay, that one goes down nicely. Uh, some of these pieces, like, uh, for instance, this one here, will be this one. And it has two little lugs that have to fit into place, which is, I, yeah, I can't see this, it's on the other side of me. I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to swing this around here a little bit. Oh yeah, now I can see it. Okay, that noise that you heard was this chain adjusting on my grandfather clock. Nothing broke here. I'm going to have to swing it a little bit more here so I can just get in there. I suppose this could be I'm sorry, I'm going to have to take this off camera. Okay, I got it. I just couldn't get both of those lugs lined up in the slots at the same time. Uh, it was a tight fit, but once it snapped down into place, it, I, could think, I think I'm just going to leave it there. And maybe what I'll do is I'll just put, put some glue in from the back here. Because I don't think we actually see in this area. Um, in fact, I'm sure we don't. Okay, now the next thing then would be 
the desk that does not have the radio on it. Okay, so that would be this one. Now, well, that's in place. The next one would be the desk with the radio on it. And if you remember, the radio is facing the wrong way. It should actually have the the knobs and everything facing the other direction. But uh, what do we got on the on the back here? Is it a piece of dust or what? Yeah, I think I think I got it. Whatever it is. No, I don't. Mm, okay, I think I got it now. Okay, yeah, so the idea is that the radio was being swung around and the guy was uh, changing a tube. Remember the old radios that had tubes? Now we, we had those up until, used them, those quite regularly until the, uh, I guess, mid-60s. Then pretty well everything went all, all transistor. Not that transistor radios weren't available before that. Okay, I think that's in place. Okay. Um, now the next thing that we want to test to make sure it's going to fit uh, would be uh, this this piece right here, which is this piece right here. And it only has. It looks like. It looks like it's only got. Oh, this is the bathroom door. As I was noticing that it's uh, it's not, you know, at right angles. Now, I don't know if that's going to cause a problem because I don't have it at right angles or if it's just going to look like it's swung all the way open. I, th I think it's going to be all right. Just let me swing it around here so that you can see. The, ba the bathroom doors would be swung open and probably up against the the bulkhead here. I'm I'm hoping that that this bulkhead that we're going to glue on here does not have anything protruding this way. This you know, well I guess I can always break it loose and re-glue it, right? Won't be the end of the world. Okay, so we got that. And then the next thing we want to dry fit would be the uh, one of the tables, which would take this one here. Being as it's handy, and uh, I think it's going to fit. I might have to uh, just rely on the uh, the extra thin to sort of meld it down. This is going to be really easy to accidentally break off, isn't it? Yeah, I think I think when I put some extra thin on there. It's going to soften those, the hole and the peg, and it will, it almost wants to go. Yeah, yeah, that's going to work. Okay, I do believe we've got everything in place now. We don't need to worry about something not fitting. Um, now the stools, it, there's no markings on the, on the deck anywhere to show where the stools are supposed to go, but I think, I would think they, they'd just be more or less centered right in, in, in this area here like that. Uh, I, unless somebody was to be seated on it, I'm wondering if maybe the, the stools should be left, just la leave them loose, because it's possible that if I get ambitious enough to, uh, you know, to, to make the figures, and I, at this point I'm sort of wondering if, if I'm going to actually be doing that, um, Yeah, we might want to be ha having somebody sitting on one of those stools, and if it's too much one way or the other, it's not going to work out, is it? Okay. Uh, well, let's let's glue everything in place like that. Maybe I'll just go ahead and quickly do it off camera and get it done.
can hear a little bark going on there. Ah, sure enough. Sure enough. Look who's here. Is your leash stuck? Oh, okay, I'll come to you. I'll come to you. You just stay there. Just hung up a little bit here. Oh, all right. <laughs> here you go. Here you go. Oh, you got you got snow on your paws and everything, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You got snow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got the snow. The goose that's freezing it should be melted by one or two. Must be something over there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I was just about ready to shoot this scene here and show you my handiwork. And I heard a little bark outside and I looked at my monitor and sure enough, there's Missy coming down off her balcony. So I knew she was going to be at my door any minute. Okay. Everything's glued in place here. I had a bit of a trouble with the, with the table. It did not want to glue straight. In other words, straight, in other words, uh, per, uh, in line with the keel of the ship, that kind of straight, uh, or I mean boat. So I had to put uh, quite a bit of extra thin down at the base of it where it plugged in and just sort of work it back and forth and back and forth and, and hold it at the right angle. But I, I think we basically got it here. And I'm using one of Tennessee Jim's uh, precision squares here to to keep this straight because there's uh, on, on this one I don't have that problem because it's already at right angles. So Anyway, I think uh, I think we're ready to move on to the next part of this uh, this step here. Okay. You notice how when you've got two hands like I'm using right now, without even thinking about it, your one hand helps the other. And, and you don't have to, you know, do any planning or anything like that. And I was thinking that when we move over here to this step here, it would be nice to have like, uh, you know, four or five hands all hooked onto you. And you could operate with four or five hands because <laughs> it, it would be, I think, I think it's going to be kind of awkward maybe putting some of this together um, as we move over. You know, like uh, two hands will be holding two parts together, but then you need a, th a third and a fourth hand to be plugging something else in. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. <laughs> well, it was just a thought I had. Another crazy thought, which isn't, which isn't going to happen. Anyway, look at the time. Probably about half an hour ago, maybe not even, my doorbell rings and I'm sitting in front of my computer and I'm uh, editing out the, at that moment I was doing, well, what I, I it's not really the sunrise because there isn't really going to be a sunrise episode at the end of today's episode because there was no sunrise, but I was putting music to the walkers. And if you want to be bothered watching it, well, it'll be at the end of this this uh, episode, which is going to happen real soon here. Anyway, my neighbor says, uh, looks like we're going to be getting out on the e-bikes, and uh, uh, or, or our bikes, because he doesn't have an e-bike. But anyway, and I, I looked out at the street, and oh my goodness, uh, all the snow is melted off the street, and uh, there's water, you know, where there was ice, there is now water, and and I'm I'm looking at the thermometer now. I don't know if you can see it, but it says plus four degrees. So uh, I'm going to take advantage of this. I, I honestly was not expecting it to happen. I was just hoping it was going to happen. Yeah, well, spring is in the air, sort of. Um, as uh, <laughs> which reminds me, um, uh, Corey, uh, uh, who lives in L.A. He had posted on his uh, Facebook page where somebody had taken the, an, an auto spring and threw, threw it in the air and then snapped a, po a photo at just the right time. And uh, the uh, caption was, spring is in the air. Oh, I thought that was pretty funny. Anyway, uh, okay. 
enough about that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to call it quits here. And we're going to work on this in the next episode. But we're making progress, folks. We're making progress. Um, I just got to be careful now. I, I don't, uh, you know, this is not supported real, real well. So that this will be easily broken off here. And, and of course, so will our little table. So we're getting to the place now uh, where, like the other module, where we could, I was kind of scared to be handling it. So anyway, I'm going to call her quits here. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow.